The 300 hectare Orona La Ag plant is located in Normandy, on the extreme tip of the Coutentin Peninsula. Around 4,000 people work there. Its task? To recycle the energy potential of nuclear used fuels arriving from nuclear power plants in France and abroad. Because having produced energy for four to five years in the core of a reactor, spent fuel assemblies have to be replaced. And yet these used fuels still contain considerable energy potential. The equivalent of a quarter of the energy produced by a brand new assembly. The treatment carried out at the La Ag plant allows the recuperation of the uranium and plutonium contained in the fuel, amounting to 96% of the nuclear material. The remaining 4% are the fission products. This final waste is conditioned in a safe and sustainable way, as are the metallic structures which are also non-reusable. There are two tasks, the recycling of nuclear materials on one hand and the optimum waste management on the other. Explanation. Used fuel assemblies are transported from a nuclear plant to La Ag site in completely safe casks. They are transferred to a first workshop for reception and storage in ponds. The casks are controlled, prepared, and then docked with perfect tightness to the unloading cell. Here, as in all cells, complete and extremely reliable automation is used. The assemblies are unloaded, cooled, then placed in a storage pond to enable part of the radioactivity to decrease. After several years in the pond, an assembly is taken to a workshop where it will first be cut, a process known as shearing. The end pieces are removed. As for the cladding, which contains the recyclable materials, it is sheared into 35 millimeter sections. The dissolution step allows the recovery of the material contained in the sections for treatment. Inside the dissolver, the sections are plunged into nitric acid. The result? On one side, sections which have been emptied of their material, which are called hulls. The hulls then follow the same treatment line as the end pieces, the same line used for metallic waste. On the other side, nitric acid containing uranium, plutonium and fission products. The solvent therefore contains recyclable uranium and plutonium and non-recyclable fission products. The extraction step consists in separating these three materials in two phases. Firstly, the fission products are separated from the plutonium and uranium, and secondly, the uranium from the plutonium. Extractions are carried out in the liquid phase. A solvent is used for one element to have an affinity to an organic phase, while the other remains in liquid phase. Like water and oil, the two elements separate naturally. At the end of the extraction cycles, three separated materials are obtained. The fission products, concentrated by evaporation. Uranium, also concentrated by evaporation and plutonium, which is transferred to its workshop for conditioning. The uranium is first purified. This involves removing the last traces of the fission products. Then it is concentrated in liquid form, called uranyl nitrate, to be recycled again in the fuel cycle. The uranyl nitrate is then stored in tanks, before being shipped to be recycled in enrichment and fuel manufacturing plants. The plutonium contains a large quantity of energy. Its treatment consists in changing it from a liquid form to a solid form. For this, it is first purified, then converted into plutonium oxalate, a pulp using precipitation. Calcination then completes the transformation of the oxalate into a powder, plutonium oxide. The plutonium oxide is finally conditioned in stainless steel boxes 
which are placed in cases, which in turn are placed in containers. Particular attention is given to the air tightness and non-contamination of the containers. After a storage phase, they are sent to the Arana Melox plant, which makes new fuels called MOX. In nuclear power plants, MOX fuels are used to generate electricity. At each step of the process, the quality of the products is meticulously analyzed. At Orano La Ag, the purity of the materials obtained is systematically measured by chemical, physical, and isotopic analyses. Materials recycled at Orano La Ag have a considerable energy potential. One gram of plutonium, which equals 100 grams of uranium, represent the energy equivalent of over one metric ton of oil. 'n products extracted from the solvent are not recyclable. They contain almost all of the used fuel's radioactivity. They are incorporated in glass frit and conditioned into an extremely stable form for optimized and long-term safety management. This process is called vitrification. Step 1. Evaporation of the nitric acid present in the solution by heating it in a vessel. This enables the concentration of the fission products. Step two, precise dosing of the solution to enable fusion with the glass frit. And step three, the solution is transferred to a calcinator where it is heated at a very high temperature. Once it leaves the calcinator, the glass frit is added. The mix falls into a melting furnace heated to 1,100 degrees Celsius, which ensures the perfect incorporation of the products and a homogeneous glass form. This guarantees a very chemically stable matrix for several tens of thousands of years. The molten glass obtained is poured into a 175 liter stainless steel container, which is then cooled, welded shut, cleaned and smear tested to check it is contamination free. Regarding the metallic structure of the fuel assembly, the hulls and end pieces are rinsed separately. The end pieces in acid and water The hulls in water Transported together, the hulls and end pieces will then be precisely sorted by a separator doser to ensure the correct distribution into casings. The filled casings are then compacted under a 2500 metric ton press. The casing compacting cycle is entirely automated and takes only 12 minutes. The compacted casings are placed in a container which is welded and checked for non-contamination before being sent for storage. With these operations, waste volume is divided by five, which means a reduced environmental footprint. The containers with vitrified and compacted waste are standardized to facilitate logistics and long-term management. They are stored in total safety in specially designed halls. In line with French law, vitrified and compacted waste from abroad is then returned to the country of origin. Waste from French sources is stored at Orana La Ague while awaiting the commissioning of the Deep Geological Storage Center, CGO, in northeastern France. Thanks to the treatment process at Orano La Ague, 96% of recyclable material contained in spent fuel can be recovered to produce electricity again. The final waste is conditioned in a safe and stable form for the long term. Today, Orano La Ag is the industrial reference in treating used nuclear fuels from nuclear power plants in both France and abroad. Thanks to this know-how unique in the world, the teams of Orano La Ag contribute to the sustainable management of energy resources in the service of a competitive and safe industry.